So the first part of your quiz will be a blank unit circle. I've provided you with a blank one, as well as a completed one like you see here. Keep in mind that you will need to give me the degrees and the radians for every single one of these. You'll notice that we have zero degrees, zero radians, 30 degrees is pi over six radians, 45 is pi over four, all the way around the circle. You will also need to give me the cosine and sine or the x, y value at each point all the way around the circle. Again, don't forget that you do have the zeros and ones all the way around at your axis as well. So the first part of your quiz will be filling out this unit circle. You will be allowed to keep the unit circle that you fill out for the remainder of the quiz. And you will be able to use it to answer any questions asking sine, cosine, and tangent problems for ones that are low in the unit circle. The next part of your quiz will just be basic questions about angles, angle measure, uh, and sine and cosine, as well as arc length. So the first thing we're gonna look at is finding the measure of the angle. You will be given a diagram of an angle and you will need to tell the degree of the angle that you've been given. So for this first one, you can see that they have given you some information here, this reference angle of 55 degrees. You will notice that it is going clockwise. So this is going to indicate that this is going to be a negative angle. It has gone this far. It is 55 degrees away from the 180. So you would just take the 180 and subtract the 55 degrees, and you would get 125 degrees. But keep in mind, the direction of this angle indicates that it is negative. So the answer here is going to be negative 125 degrees. You will also need to be able to draw angles given the measure in standard position. And so again, directionally negative is clockwise, positive is counterclockwise. This particular angle is negative 330 degrees. So when you do something like this, you want to keep in mind that you're going clockwise. Down here would be negative 90. This would be negative 180, negative 270, negative 360. So this negative 330 is going to be in the first quadrant, and it's going to be 30 degrees away from your 360. And so it's going to be approximately here. When you do this particular angle, you do need to give me an arrow. So you do need to tell me that you are traveling this direction around to this angle. If not, then it's going to be assumed that you're talking about this angle, which would be incorrect. Now on the second page, you will see the instructions to find the exact value of the trig function using the unit circle. So once again, you should have at this point in your quiz filled out a unit circle. And so you can use your unit circle that you filled out to answer the questions. Now, on the unit circle, you would have filled out only the X and Y. So this particular question is asking for tangent. Now, if you'll keep in mind on the unit circle, your sine value of your theta is your Y value. Your cosine value of your theta is your x value, and your tangent of your theta is your y over your x. And so as long as you keep those in mind while you answer these questions and you have completed your unit circle correctly, these should be simple questions. This is asking for the tangent of 30 degrees. So you want to go on your unit circle and find your 30 degrees. Tangent is going to be your x value over your y value. So here we're going to have 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Now remember these are fractions. So you are going to keep the top fraction, change it to multiplication, and flip the bottom fraction. Now anytime you have fraction over fraction with the same denominator, it's always going to work out that your denominators basically cancel each other out and you end up with numerator over numerator. Now in this particular case we have a radical on the bottom and so we do not want to leave it that way that's not proper so we are going to multiply the top and the bottom here by that square root of three 
And so our final answer here is going to be the square root of 3 over 3. And that is the tangent of 30 degrees. We are looking for that ratio, that exact value of the tangent of 30 degrees. The next section of the quiz review is just converting. You are converting degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Now remember when you are going from degrees to radians, you are going to multiply by pi over 180. And when you are going from radians to degrees, you are going to multiply by 180 over pi. And so we have these two. I've done one of each here. The first one is 330 degrees. So we are going to multiply that 330 degrees by pi over 180 degrees. My degrees will cancel. And then you can re just reduce however you would normally reduce. You can see that 3 would go into both of these. And so then you multiply across 11 times pi over 6. And that would be your final answer here from degrees to radians. Number 16 is already in radians. So we are going to now multiply that one by 180 degrees over pi. My pi will cancel. And then you will see that the 18 will cancel with the 180. And then you're just going to multiply across. 25 times 10 is going to give me 250 degrees. My last set of questions here will be regarding arc length. Arc length, remember, to find the measure of the arc length, you simply multiply theta times your radius. Now, theta specifically must be in radians. So if it is not in radians, you do have to convert it. This first one is already in radians. We have 5 pi over 12. So we simply have to take, to find our arc length, we simply have to take our theta, which is 5 pi over 12, and we're going to multiply it by our radius, which is 12. Those 12s cancel, and you get 5 pi. This specifically says round your answer to the nearest tenth, which means I am actually going to put that 5 pi into my calculator and round to one decimal place. So my answer here is going to be 15.7. My units here is yards. For the number 24, again, they have given me my theta, but they have given it to me in degrees. So I am going to multiply my theta um, times my radius, but I do need to multiply it by pi over 180 to convert it to radians. And then I can multiply it by my radius. And you can reduce this. Obviously, 90 and 180 are going to reduce. So we're going to get 9 pi over 2, but they do also want this in uh, decimals. So to the nearest tenth, when you do this particular one, you're going to get approximately 14.1, and my units here again is yards.